Hello there, this is Ashra from Zenon Studios. Um, well, previously we've learned how we can actually come up with this simple house here. It's a simple project that we are working on up to completion. We've looked at how we can uh, draw the walls, uh, the doors, the slabs. I'm putting links to those videos in the description. Go ahead and look at those videos. Today I want us to insert a ring beam. Um, most of you know that a ring beam comes just above these windows and doors. Perfect. So I'm simply going to head over to my ground floor and um, um, perfect. So come over here to the beam tool, activate it, and uh, go into its dialog settings. Perfect. So right in here I want my beam to be uh, okay I want my beam to have the size of the wall so I'm going to measure the wall here and uh, the wall is 2 to 5 so I want my beam also to have to be 2 to 5 in terms of width so 2 to 5 and I want it to have a height of just 200 Perfect. Um, then uh, you can change its reference point from here. I'm going to change it to this one. Then, uh, as you can tell, the current story that we are on is the roof. This is not true. I want it to be on the ground floor. And to project zero, I want it to be at um, just above the the windows and doors, which is two one zero zero. Perfect. Then uh, if I head over here to the segment, um, excuse my card, it's a little slow. So structure, you're choosing the material here. I want it to be um, reinforced concrete. That's okay. Then I'm going to change the color of the beam. I want it to be linoleum blue. And I want to link all these surfaces to be lino blue. Perfect. You can do a whole lot of things in here. You can make this beam tapered. You can actually make it circular. You can have an eye section. Please, um, you can play with many of these settings in here. Uh, if we go here to the hole, uh, play with most of these settings and. Uh, Perfect, so I'll hit OK. Um, so I'm going to start from right here. I'm only putting the beam uh, on external walls. Alright, so click over there. Well, uh, the construction method is... Uh, so I'm simply going to first delete that guy. And let me use the... A polygonal polyline method of construction there then there As you can see my pen changes to a black one once it snaps to a corner and uh, there perfect so if we head over to our 3d can see that uh, we actually have our beam right here but as you can see the positioning of the beam is um, a little off so we need to reposition this beam right here so I'm going to select it as you can see it all gets selected because groups are not suspended then I can uh, move this node manually so click a node then uh, yes you're moving the whole thing uh, sorry my card is a little slow so you're moving it vertically you want to move it vertically so I'm going to hold shift so that I only move vertically and I'm going to click this point here at the window such that uh, it snaps right there perfect then if I'm to measure 
I want to measure the distance from here up to down so M press M on your keyboard measure from there up to there and it is 2100 okay what had we typed perfect so that is 2100 if I head over back to my ground floor now so you, you would want your walls to show not this beam as you can see having trouble seeing the wall so what you can do is uh, grab your arrow tool come over here and as you can see we are selecting the wall you can press tab uh, then we are selecting the slab okay let me zoom in i want to select the beam perfect so the beam is selected and what you want to do is to change the display order such that the beam is sent backward perfect it doesn't do it so i can simply select my wall tool control all then display order for the wall is to bring to front perfect and uh, that does it so we are now seeing the wall so the beam is there but behind so if we go back to our 3d you can see that we still have our beam but uh, yeah perfect yeah that's it from me see you in my next tutorial i'm going to put a roof onto this thing finally love you see you like and subscribe to this channel